Hi, I'm Mrs. Horton and I'm teaching another year of AVID. I'm so excited to have many, many returning AVID students and it's been a real pleasure to begin to know the new AVID students to the course. Um, I really love AVID and everything that it stands for. I want you to know that we see all this potential in your children and we're doing everything we can to build tools in their toolkit so that at the end of high school, if they choose to pursue college, they will have those tools that they need to be successful at that next level. AVID is a really fun elective class where we get to interact with each other, uh, interact with academic, skills in a class where there's a lot less risk because it's a class where we get to practice these skills that is the whole purpose and point of the of the class and so there's a lot less stress i would say in worrying about getting that grade and doing everything perfectly it's a place to practice and refine skills and i love that so we have been hitting it hard here at the beginning, reviewing skills for many and introducing some to these skills in order to build a really solid base so that we can do some high level work through the rest of the year. Uh, we have been, we started off really looking at how am I gonna organize my time, man time and manage it in a remote school setting? How will I stay organized? It's gonna look a lot different than what it looked like when I was taking my backpack to school and I had a binder and I had all these different classes. And so we kind of spent a couple of weeks looking at that stuff. What is that gonna look like? How am I actually using my time? And so if you wanna know how your kiddo is using their time, they did a time use study for five days. They can tell you how they've been using their time and how much uh, screen time they've had in terms of video games or YouTube. So some of them won't wanna talk about that. However, after we did that, we have started to look at um, some reading strategies, and we looked at how do we mark a text? If we're given an academic text, what should we do to start to annotate that text and make uh, sense of it? And from there, we have just started looking at Cornell Notes. And for many students who are returning, they said, you know, this has actually been a good review. And it's really awesome to hear seventh and eighth graders say, Practicing note taking was really good for me. And so that's really encouraging. It means your students are taking their job as being a learner really seriously. And so we're kind of practicing the, uh, the Cornell notes right now and refining them. And then we're just moving into reviewing and practicing um, what it looks like to participate in a Socratic seminar. And this is where students are going to be having an academic discussion about a text where they will be able to ask open-ended questions of each other with the goal of creating deeper meaning of that text and of the big questions that are asked. And so I'm excited for them to be able to dig into that. And from there, we're going to springboard into philosophical chairs debates, which has traditionally been something students love. And so I'm adapting some of this for our virtual platform, but kids will still, I'm sure, be able to make their very passionate points about whatever side, pro or con, they are on in their debates. And we will, uh, of course, review that debate structure of how we uh, do philosophical chairs. These are a lot of the things we're going to be doing in the first semester. And so I'm really excited uh, for them to be able to do that and just continue to build the skills that they need to be successful this year and beyond. All of their assignments are in Schoology. They have access to all their grades in Skyward. And you as parents can see all of their grades in Skyward Family Access. And so um, we're just doing our best to help them stay on track in this very unusual school year. And I hope that you um, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Have a great evening. Goodbye.